Welcome Transformers fans to another Transformers unboxing. Today we have Transformers Legacy Evolution Thundercracker. Having a quick look at the box, we have some artwork of Thundercracker in his alt mode. Artwork of Thundercracker in his bot mode. Artwork of uh, Legacy Evolution. Shots up here at the top. Legal. Legal. And uh that's pretty much it. We can touch Slender Cracker. So let's get the crack him open. While we're cracking him open, I'd like to remind you to hit that like button if you haven't already. And subscribe once more if you haven't already. Both those things are gonna help me out with the algorithm and YouTube. And uh getting seen. The box is now empty. But aside, what, what else is in here? We have the instructions we may or may not need that i actually we don't need that this guy's gonna transform exactly the same as uh starscream and uh guy warp before him that's garbage so one of his null rays popped out too bad this guy didn't come with more null rays that thunder that uh sky warp with his odd weapon it's gonna be the odd one out or uh Guy Warp will always feel like he gets the uh, the shaft when it comes to toys, either being exclusive or just in general. It's just weird. So here he is, Thundercracker. Let's slow this a little bit. Thundercracker is our resident uh, traitor. Uh, not really trip. Well, I guess he has a traitor. He's tra he'd be, he's betrayed uh, the. Uh, Decepticons on multiple occasions, right? Here's a uh, the null ray. Same as both null rays. I just almost forgot to uh, show that, so we can clip them on right here. This peg is a three millimeter peg. Thankfully, almost all the uh, pegs are universal. Three millimeter pegs for the uh, little guys. For the big guys, we've got five millimeter pegs. All right, so let's get to transforming him. Let's see if I can transform him. This guy transforms pretty much the same as the, uh, the, the big ones. The big ones, yeah, what do they call the, uh, come on. Oh, yeah, I remember now. No, he doesn't tr transform the same as the big ones, as the uh, larger. Well, what's going on here? This guy is stiff as... All right, first off. Come on. All I ask is that you do what you're supposed to do. Oh, that's right. Okay. Sorry, it's been a little while since I transformed these guys. I see the secret mold. That's supposed to open up. Let's take the null rays off because I keep grabbing them. All right, that was a very tight joint. There we go. But now we can flip this head down. And that can peg into there. And that head just rotates there. Uh, this portion here that's open we're going to open up all the way and we're going to rotate it around. Then that's going to connect to the back with his feet. We can just rotate these back. Let's say props. What are they? Are they props? Are they wings? Fins? Back fins. There we go. Up like so. We can open them up. And this piece here is just going to fold. Under. 
does like a weird collapsing thing. There we go. Then his head's gonna get tucked in the middle. You can rotate around so he's not looking down at the ground. All right, then that's just gonna close back up. And there's little pegs right here in his arms that are gonna tab into there. We can swing that around. Do the same thing. There we go. Now he's in jet mode. It's a good looking jet mode. I'm going to always put the. Uh, And they'll raise right back where they were. And really, you don't need to take them off the transform. And there he is. All these, uh, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, <laughs> all these. Uh, core class figures, most of them anyway, except for the Dinobots, have very good articulation. And they're all fun to transform. Even the, uh, the Dinobots. Yeah, I can never transform it with that staying on. Let me just rotate its head around. Hold that back. I'd like to see them do the cone heads like this. That'd be interesting what they would do. Probably the exact same thing. Now what did I do wrong? There we go. And then of course, rotate it so he has the elbows. I mean, articulation wise, oops. <laughs> There's a lot of ball joints and this, this is a, it's tight, this is being the third use of this mold. Then again, look at the, uh, the Voyager class. That one's been used I don't know how many times. The Voyager class secret mold for, for Legacy. There he is. I mean, he's got great articulation. Arms, elbows, yeah. Head. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't look up and down, but it, it does swivel. You do the splits. If it wasn't for his wings, he'd probably sit down. some great articulation anyway there is transformers legacy evolution core class thundercracker if you enjoyed this video i invite you to hit like and subscribe and share this video and as always thank you for watching and have a wonderful day